Hello and welcome back dear learners. How are you? I hope that you will be fit and fine. <laughs> Let us start today's English class. Dear students, you will see on the screen and identify these images. Can you tell what are these? Yes, these are musical instruments. Do you know how to play these? Any one of these? No, <laughs> actually I don't know. I also don't know how to play these. But we can meet a person who can play two objects from these. One is piano and second is drum. Let us meet that person. And that person is the music man. Let us meet the music man. And the music man comes with these words. I am the music man. I am the music man. I come from far away and I can play. What can you play? I play the piano. Pia, pia, piano. Piano, piano. Pia, pia, piano. Pia, piano. I am the music man. I am the music man. I come from far away and I can play. What can you play? I play the big drum. Boom, di, boom, di, boom, di, boom, boom, di, boom, boom, di, boom, boom, di, boom, di, boom, di, boom, boom, di, boom, boom, di, boom. I am the music man. I am the music man. I come from far away and I can play. I am the music man. I am the music man. Dear learners, I hope that you have enjoyed this poem. Let us meet some new words related to this poem. And the first one is music man. Let us use this word in a sentence. Raj is a music man. We will repeat this sentence. Raj is a music man. Let us meet another word now. That is piano. My friend knows how to play a piano. Yes. We will repeat this sentence. My friend knows how to play a piano. Next word now. Drum. I like to play with my drum. We will repeat this sentence. I like to play with my drum. Yes. Now this is the activity part and activity one is reading is fun. Let us start that one. Yes, dear learners. What are the two instruments that the music man can play? Can you tell? Yes. I know you can tell. Yes, the two instruments are piano and the drum. Yes, the music man plays piano and drum. Both. Let us move forward. Where does the music man come from? Where does the music man come from? Yes. Yes, the music man comes from far away. Yes. Now move for further. Activity 2. Yes, second activity. Make sentences with the words given in the table. Dear students, here are some words of a sentence are written in three columns and five rows. In first column, the words are written a farmer, a soldier, a singer, a pilot and a musician. And the second column shows plays, flies, works, wears, sings. And the third column shows songs in the field, a uniform, a plane and music. Now we have to make the sentence with the help of this table. Yes, dear students. Yes, can you try? Yes, we will try. <laughs> okay, can you tell me what a farmer does? A farmer plays or flies or works or wears or sings. Yes, a farmer works 
and which type of work a farmer do where he works songs in the field a uniform a plane or music yes we will match works with in the field and this sentence will be a farmer works in the field yes now move further dear learners a soldier a soldier what a soldier does plays flies wears sings a soldier wears what a soldier wear uniform a soldier wears a uniform a singer what does a singer do yes a singer sings a singer sings what a singer sings songs yes we will match it with songs pilot a pilot a pilot what does a pilot do a pilot flies what flies a plane yes a pilot flies a plane now last part is left a musician a musician we will match musician with plays what plays music a musician plays music let us watch now yes a farmer works in the field okay and a soldier wears a uniform a singer sings songs and a pilot flies a plane a musician what does a musician do a musician plays music like this we will make the sentences now move further and this is the third activity how many musical instruments can you find in this image try to circle at least four dear learners in this question there is a maze given and some pictures are given in front of you you will identify the picture and then search in the maze okay first picture can you tell yes this is the picture of drum now we will find drum in the maze yes we have find found it yes this is the picture of the drum and we find in the table <clears throat> next second picture can you tell yes identify this object dear learners yes this is the picture of iktara and do you know why we say it iktara yes we say it iktara because it contains only one string that's why we say it iktara very good now move further we have find it in the table iktara yes now move towards the third picture and third picture is of yes can you tell yes this is the picture of flute now find flute in the mid yes anybody can find yes we have find we have found it flute yes now move further can you identify third picture fourth picture yes fourth picture is of piano now we will find out the word piano in this image yes yeah we have find it yes piano now we have completed this puzzle this image like this we can solve the problems and we have also a fun we have a fun also dear learners yes now move further whatever yes <laughs> this is fourth activity change these words from singular to plural by adding es uh, in this question in this activity there are some words given and you have to make plural form from singular by adding es let us move yes here are some words and the words written in this box is bench glass tomato brush box and class 
Dear learners, we will make the plural form by adding es to each word. We will add es to bench, then glass, then tomato. We will add es. Just write e and s after each word. Like this. Yes, we have done it. Bench will become benches in its plural form. Glass will become glasses. Tomato will become tomatoes. And brush will be brushes in plural. Box will be boxes. And class will become classes. Yes, dear learners. Like this, you will make plural form of these words. Earlier, I have shared a rule chart with you. Okay, let us revise it again. How we will change a word into its plural form. First rule is adding S. How we will add S? For most nouns, simply add S. For example, bowl, bowls, cat, cats. And the rule is for most nouns that end in a vowel, we will add vowel plus y, we will add s. Like y, it ends with y and o is the vowel before y. That's why we will add only s. Y will be boys. And rule second is for most nouns that end in ch, sh, s, double s, x, z, add es to that words. Like we have add es to bench, box, etc. earlier. And for example, folks, we will add foxes, dis will be dishes. And dress will be dresses. Now rule number third is for most nouns that end in a consonant plus y. Add i e s. A noun which ends with y and before y a consonant is given. We will remove y and we will add I E S. Okay. Like baby. Baby word ends with Y. But before Y, vowel is not given. If vowel is given, then we have added only S for making plural. But before Y, consonant is given, then we will add I E S. After removing Y. Like fly. We have removed Y. And added I E S. This is the rule number 4. Adding V E S. When we will add V E S? Understand the rule? For most nouns that end in F or F V. Dear students, we will add ES to these words. Bench will be benches, glass will be glasses, tomato will be tomatoes, and brush will be brushes, box will be boxes, and glass will be classes. But do you know why we add ES to all these words? Let us revise some rules for making plurals. Yes, this is the rule chart. And there are four rules for changing a, a number or a noun into plural form from singular to plural. If a noun that ends with Y and before Y a vowel comes, we will add only S. For example, Y. Y word ends with Y but before Y O is given and you all know O is a vowel. That's why we will add only S and Y will be Boys and cat. Cat will be cats. Ball will be balls. Okay, like this. For most nouns, we will add only S. This is the rule number one. 
Now rule number two. For most nouns that end in ch, sh, s, double s, x, z, and es, we will add es to that words. Like folks will be foxes, dis will be dishes, and dress will be dresses, bench will be benches, box will be boxes. And the nouns that ends in a consonant plus y. This is the rule number third. A vowel noun that ends with y, but before y, a vowel is not given. A consonant is given here in third rule. Third rule is the opposite of first rule. In first rule, a vowel is give, given before y, but in third, a consonant is given before y. Like the word baby. Baby. Before y, b is given. B is a consonant. That's why we will remove y and add i, e, s. So, baby will be babies and fly will be flies. And rule number four. For most noun that ends in f or f, e. We will add v, e, s to that nouns like leaf l e a f we will remove f or f e and add v e s to those words we will add v e s to leaf and remove f so leaf will be leaves knife will be knives like this we will make plural forms of the nouns again i am revising these words for the noun that ends with y, but a vowel given before y, we will add only s. But a word that ends with y, but a consonant is given just before y, we will remove y and add e, i, e, s, i, e, s. And the nouns that end with f or f, e. We will remove F or F E and add V E S to that word. And one is left here. That is the noun that ends with C H S H S double S X Z. We will add E S to that words. I hope you have understand this. You have understood this. Okay. <laughs> You will revise these rules again at home and then it will be clear to everyone. Thank you everyone. Now this is the end of today's class. Thank you. Have a good day to everyone.